Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, Pacific Northwest Weather Watch, September 15th, edition number two. I want to go ahead and go over a little bit of an update here to the forecast. We've got a strong storm out over the Pacific Ocean, mainly just eye candy. It's not going to affect the Pacific Northwest here, but in front of this storm, we have a strong ridge. We have a powerful pressure gradient across the region that's going to spawn some strong winds out of the east across some of the foothill areas. We're not looking at bomb cyclone status winds or anything, but early in the season with lots of leaves on trees, the first strong winds, drought, insects, all kinds of stuff can happen to trees, which can make them fall in the stronger winds that come. And so we're going to dive into some of that detail. We got some fire danger out there, and we're going to take a look at the extended forecast continues to look like we may be in for some more active fall weather as we go through the end of the month. So stay tuned for that. You won't regret buying the station if you do. Get it now. Get it in time for the fall season coming up. Very fun to watch a weather station at your place of residence. Great smartphone app. Stores all the data for you in the cloud. Click on the link down below to save 10%. So scrolling through here, you can see that I think that is a lower sugar, low fire. It brings some smoke, but this is mainly a loft across western Washington. However, there has been some surface smoke out there across some of Chelan County and Lake Chelan. Lake Wenatchee has been pretty nasty over the last couple of days, and that will probably continue for the next few days. This is as we go through the day tomorrow, starts to point northeast there, and again, some surface smoke as we go all the way on and through the day Wednesday. But again, across western Washington, most likely that smoke will be aloft, although models have not handled that quite well. So I wouldn't be surprised if you did smell a little bit of smoke. Maybe you should wake up tomorrow morning for the wind start to kick up a little bit more. Now, east winds... Uh, Actually, wind advisory. So I talked about this a little bit here this morning, uh, hoping that they were paying attention to that. And maybe they'll listen to my forecast, too. Knows. Uh, but yeah, wind advisory for tomorrow. And again, they mentioned from the Highway 2 corridor down towards Enumclaw, foothills and valleys of the Cascades from 3 a.m. Tuesday to midnight on uh, Tuesday night. And they also mentioned the damage possible to trees at this time of year because of the presence of leaves on the trees and also other factors like drought and insects and stuff like that. So definitely be prepared if you are in the favored east wind areas, you know who you are. Enumclaw, again, Black Diamond, North Bend, and up to areas north up towards Highway, US Highway 2. And Scrolling back and forth through here, you can see just who is going to be subject to the strongest winds. Again, I-90 is right there, and this is towards Rattlesnake Ledge, Twin Falls. If you're going hiking tomorrow morning, definitely be aware of this. And across some of the higher terrain, down towards the Columbia River Gorge, some strong winds also. And I just, again, wanted to show you the her with the smoke aloft. Again, not forecast to be at the surface, but again, it's been missing some of these forecasts sometimes. So you might smell a little bit of smoke as you wake up tomorrow morning or maybe later tonight. Now, what is going on here? Well, this is the artificial intelligence model. And as we go through tomorrow morning, so you got a pretty good cross pressure gradient, maybe eight, 10 millibars here from uh, east slopes of the Cascade to Washington out towards the Oregon coast there. That strong storm is far enough away, so it's not really a big impact on these winds. But yeah, this could kick off those strong winds tomorrow. Kind of a thermally induced trough. That's why we're going to warm up so much with some of that compressional wind with those easterly winds. And then that storm, you can see, move off to the west to Haida Gwaii, the Queen Charlotte's out there and then we kind of are in no man's land for a little bit i'll show you the extended forecast more here in a moment but i just want to, want to show you here as we go on in through the day tomorrow so let's show you this you can see the winds really start to ramp up as we go tomorrow morning strictly out of the east of the columbia river gorge there as well and that strong storm again mainly just eye candy on the satellite kind of hammering the queen charlotte's and the Haida Gwaii out there and up towards southeast alaska so tomorrow, here we go. I mean, very warm temperatures in west of the Cascades, warmer than east of the Cascades tomorrow. A little bit of a rare setup, of course, with those east winds. I wouldn't be surprised if we bust some of these temperatures and get a little bit warmer, like for places like Quilly, or these east wind events can kind of trick the models and end up being warmer in, um, you know, all the way up to the coastal regions here. Pretty warm tomorrow. So Summer lovers, enjoy this because these temperatures are likely going to be on the wane here as we go towards the end of the month. And I'll scroll through tomorrow and you can kind of see, actually this is for Wednesday in Seattle, cooling things down a bit. Still a couple warm days though coming up as we go through this week and then maybe cooling down here as we go through the weekend, we get a system passing by. Uh, look at the European for tomorrow. Seattle, Tacoma, 89 degrees. We have an outside chance of hitting 90. Who knows? Uh, I don't know if we'll get there, but upper 80s definitely not out of the question. And 
and the cross section you can really see the warmth as we go through tomorrow compared to uh future days as we go on in towards the weekend and now the gfs is 91 then 85 so i don't know if we're going to get the 85 the next day and i don't think we're going to get to 91 but maybe the upper 80 is not out of the question and i guess it's in the realm of possibility you could get to 90 and then you can kind of see what happens as we go through the last week of september as we really start to cool things down and the jet stream gets pointed back at the pacific northwest so fantasy windstorm forecast kind of an entertainment only thing here but ensemble member number 50 and i just had to check this out 60 mile per hour guess for SeaTac at this time of year would be absolutely devastating and i checked that ensemble member out number 15 we can look at those individual ensemble members and look at this that's got trouble written all over it but again this is just a fantasy forecast this is not the deterministic run or an ensemble you know a mean run or anything like that this is but this would just be an absolutely catastrophic storm if this were to occur i mean look at this ridiculous pressure gradient at 970 millibar low just barreling into vancouver island would absolutely be devastating with leaves on trees and whatnot so again this is very unlikely to occur but i just had to check out that individual ensemble rent i know people like fantasy forecasts from time to time and that is the definition of fantasy land forecast so now looking at the European Ensemble mean, there goes a little bit of our cool down as we go through the day Wednesday. There's that trough right off our coastal waters here. And then kind of this ridge still right off our coastal waters also as we go through the end of the week. But then we start to bring a little bit of a cool down as we go through the weekend. Gulf of Alaska troughing, getting going, zonal flow, jet stream pointed back at the region. And then at the end of the run here, 18Z, again, you can kind of see things are going to get active as you go towards the end of September, at least it looks like as of right now. Now, if we look at the GFS, this this one is hot off the presses so let me run this as a zero z i have not looked at this one yet so in the meantime there's the ridge that's going to bring our very warm temperatures tomorrow across the area but you can see the trough is on its way and it starts to push in as we go on in towards wednesday thursday and it weakens quite a bit but still trough is right off the coastline there ridge will be with us a little bit and then we get the jet stream pointed back at the region this would definitely bring some precipitation some frontal systems here as we go on into the later portion of september we roll off a little bit more yeah look at that trough axis really ramped up right off our coastal areas there this would definitely be much more like what the moss packs here are used to in the pacific northwest as we go through september 23rd and 24th now the gfs as of 18 z let's see if it showed any kind of fantasy windstorm off in the extended so we scroll towards this weekend here and here we go into saturday i mean we're getting frontal a bit of a frontal system right there rolling through and you can see additional systems that's a pretty beefy storm right there pretty good pressure gradient on the south side of it as we go on in through next monday and then after that another strong storm out there as well so that would definitely be much more fall like weather and in fact let's update this because the zero z is running let's see what the zero z shows and if we can go out far enough to see anything exciting so ridge kind of off the coastal areas there and then we see what does it show there's a frontal system as we go through this weekend squat a little bit further there's that next wind storm there decent pressure gradient but it weakened from the previous run a little bit we scroll out a little bit further and we don't get far enough out to see what this next storm but yeah that would still be pretty active here as we go on into the later portion of september now looking at the gulf of alaska here this is the artificial intelligence this is 200 millibars so we're up around 39,000 feet and you can see that we have the jet stream started to point at the pacific northwest as we go on in towards the extended forecast so yeah starting to get some ensemble agreement on this more active weather as you can see this jet stream ripping across the pacific ocean pointed at the pacific northwest we'll see how that turns out six to ten day above normal above normal precipitation as well they're picking up on it the climate prediction center also eight to 14 day kind of a mixed bag here and above normal precipitation they're picking up on those storms probably showing up in some of the model runs so fun stuff fall will eventually be upon us and yeah so watch out for the strong winds again it's going to come on early tomorrow morning so you know pay attention to that especially if you're in those wind prone areas out there watch out for the fire danger as well low relative humidities might be one day if a fire gets going somebody throws a cigarette butt or whatever happens somebody's dragging change or something happens out there you could get these fires just kind of spread rapidly across some of western washington so heads up for that anyway i'll get this video out now Hope you guys are having a good night and i will talk to you guys again tomorrow at some point oh and by the way i may live stream at some point tomorrow also if i go out and decide to go look at the winds and i'll be doing my briefing later on in the day if that does occur so anyway i'll talk to you guys later